No, it won't. Oh, you can't do it now? No, mm -hmm. we done did it. There we go. Now we're not. All right, look. Hey, everyone. You know, do y'all comfortably close to Do y'all know who this guy is right here? Do you know him? No. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him, too bad. You should Google him. His name is Frank Kern. Don't Google me. Google him. Don't believe anything. Google says. him and do it. Okay, so <laughs> I, I'm here at his house, and and I just wanted y'all to know that this man right here, Frank. He is the reason that we are able to do what we do at Firebird. If it wasn't for Frank, who one day, I was a massage therapist in this really exclusive gym in La Jolla, and this cat came in and he started talking to me about cannabis and cancer and a friend that he had. And I was like, hey, well, I've been working with this guy named Rick Simpson and he's been teaching me how to do this stuff, but I don't have any weed or money to buy any. And this man right here just put his hand in his wallet and gave me a big old fat thing of cash and said, go figure it out. So I am so grateful to Frank Kern right here for having the faith in me, the belief in me, and in um, for all of the things that we have done now at Firebird, all of the people that we've been able to touch is all because of this cat right here, Frank Kern. So I want you all to say thank you to him because if it hadn't been for Frank, I wouldn't be where I am today. And Firebird would not be what it is right now. So thank you so much, Frank. I sincerely appreciate you deeply. That was a really nice thing to say. And it really um, is not that true. <laughs> not really it's totally not true. true. It's totally true. No, is it? I had this friend who had um, breast cancer. And I was like, hey, uh, maybe we should try that Rick Simpson stuff um, for my friend. And you're like, okay. Yeah, was I was like, like, oh my God, okay, I know how to do that. Rick just taught me how to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And what if we cleared her with like five grams? Oh my God. So like the, five grams, this woman was cleared. So I remember this now. So you, I remember getting the medicine after mm -hmm. you made it. Right, we made like it. On the Indian reservation? Yeah, and we made, it, we made it in the backyard in Claremont, California. <laughs> San Diego. <laughs> it comes in these, it was like, a, it looked we like. We put it in a, these big syringes, the kind that like you a like. a caulking gun. Yeah, something. like a caulking gun, and yeah. so I'm, I I'm, was an idiot. I'm like, well, it can't be that strong. So I remember taking it <laughs> and I'm like, you know, did what everybody does. I take something like it didn't work. I'm going to take something like rubbing it on your gum. And then watching some movie with Dwayne Johnson in it and just being terrified. But it, so I gave it to that friend, all right, who I just saw a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Cancer goes away. Then I, I get it back. All right, so this the, like these tubes of of, uh, of the goo. oil tubes have of been <laughs> now like circulated to four people, I think. So then another friend um, ends up getting um, colon cancer, and I give it to him. He's like, "Ah, oh, it's a little too much for me," uh, but he took it anyway, and now he's cancer free. But uh, you know, who knows, right? But the most the the most profound thing was. About a year later, still had the two. Everyone keeps giving me back these tubes of oil. It was a ton of oil. Though. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, we made a lot. We made a lot. I processed like five pounds that first time for a village of yeah. people. So my friend comes to me, and um, he lives in Bird Rock, and his stepfather had was terminal with lung cancer and it's where whatever the stage is where they've done everything you know so he'd already had like eight million rounds of chemo and everything and i'm like hey man i've got this, this gigantic these two gigantic caulking guns full of black stuff <laughs> that uh you might want to give to your stepdad he's like all right you know screw it man i'll try it and um i remember taking those to his house i never met his stepdad i never been to this guy's house because he was a client but you know i mean to Someone's sick and you can help them at least try, you know? So I gave him the medicine and um, I'm like, I don't, I think you just put some on your gum, you know, good luck. Don't take a lot. And uh, long story short, the guy's still alive. He's literally 100% wow, so awesome. cancer free. It's the craziest thing. Um, so I'm really glad we had those tubes. Made. I am so glad. Yeah. We, um, we really, and the, when I first made this first medicine that I made with uh, Frank's uh, donation to me to try was, was guided a hundred percent by Rick. And I, and we did it with NAFTA because Rick was all about NAFTA. That's what they were using, which is paint thinner, right? So here I was this herbalist and this guy's telling me to use paint thinner. And this guy's over here giving me like money to go buy weed. And I'm like, okay, let's, let's try it. So I have to say that of all of the medicine I've made, that was probably the strongest medicine I made. It was also probably the most dangerous medicine. And since then we've come away from chemicals and now we're just hundred percent organic alcohol solution. But Frank, I just really wanted to go live because I I've just wanted to say this to you for so many years. 
I just really love you and appreciate you. And all of the people that I've been able to help has been because of you. Wow. You really seriously are the one that like inspired me. You inspired me and you gave me the tools that I needed to really learn. Like you gave me enough money to get enough product to make all of the mistakes I had to make before I was able to unleash myself on the, on the world. I totally (laughs) thought you'd been making it forever. (laughs) <laughs> it's like, yeah, man, let's make some. Robin's like, okay, I can make them. I'm like, I can like okay, work. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. I've never done it, but I was like, oh, I, I, I can do it. I can do it for sure. I've been talking to this guy named Rick for a long time. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. So, I was so we did it. My friend, but it, she's fine. She's, she's fine. Like, yeah. It was amazing. It was really amazing. And breast cancer being the bane of my existence, to have this lady be the first person that I treated and cleared was the most inspiration for me. You know, it gave me faith in the product that I make, and you know, to have this man believe in me i know you you probably don't know who he is because you don't follow him but i'm telling you you don't want google frank kern you know like it just been such a great blessing so i just wanted y'all to know that this is the reason this is the guy and that's what we're all about is helping people frank kern helps people i help people his beautiful wife natalia helps people she does she does she helps him a lot she'll help you like in so many ways i'm going to throw some links for her in here okay so y'all have a good day and say thanks to frank make sure you say thank you to him because he is the reason bye bye y'all